Greetings, everyone. Christmas time is right around the corner, so I thought I'd review a Christmas themed Apple II game to set the mood right. Today I'm looking at Santa's Sleigh Ride, presented by Energy Games. This was developed by Bob Johnston and Al Iapica of Marin Data Systems. Now, this is one of those early games that came in a Ziploc bag. Who needs boxes anyway? They're so big and boxy. Let's take a closer look. Inside the bag, you have the floppy disk and the manual that smells Ziploc fresh. All right, let's take a closer look at the instructions. So you'll be helping Santa drop packages into chimneys while avoiding abandoned NASA satellites. You know, just another example of big government always getting in the way. To help Santa, you'll need a 48K Apple II with a 3.3 disk drive. Now I have to assume they don't mean 3.3 inch disk drive because aside from never hearing of such a strange size, a five and a quarter inch disk isn't going to fit into that. They're more likely referring to DOS 3.3. Also, looks like they forgot the letter I. Oops. And the rest of the manual just covers the controls and scoring, like how to steer Rudolph and fire photon bolts from his nose. Okay, I like the direction of going with this. Let's check this thing out, shall we? Jingle all the way. And with that, we're brought to the title screen. And what the hell is that? Is that supposed to be Santa? What happened to him? Or is that the abominable snowman? Well, he's got Santa's clothes on and he's leaning against a chimney. Yeah, I think that is Santa. And there's nothing jolly about that. Anyways, after a few seconds, a self-playing demo starts and you get a glimpse of what you're in store for. Santa looks a little more himself here, but Rudolph looks strikingly blue. And what happened to the rest of the team? Who knows? But if you hit the space bar, you'll be brought back to the title screen. And from there, you can select a difficulty to start the game. And this is the game. You steer Rudolph through the night sky, shooting photon bolts through his nose at the various obstacles. Just be sure not to hit any birds, you get docked 400 points for those. There's also the aforementioned satellites, as well as floating Pac-Men. But of course, the real goal here is to drop the presents safely into the chimneys below. You get double the points for the narrow ones. Interestingly, you are able to control the presents even after dropping them through some sort of telekinetic power. So in this universe, Santa's kind of like a Jedi. Now I like the idea of this game, and for 1981 I have to commend it. This was probably one of the very first Christmas games ever made. However, I do have a few beefs with it. For one thing, as a target, you are just way too big. I mean, I know Santa is kind of tubby and all, but he's taking up almost half of the movable area of the screen. Imagine if you were playing Galaga with a ship 50 times the normal size. Not exactly practical. On top of this, the hit detection basically sees you as one giant box. It disregards the spaces in between you and Rudolph and all the other crevices. So as far as the game's concerned, you might as well be playing as a giant red and white rectangle. Another gripe I have is with the slow speed. I mean, it almost feels like an uncompiled basic game. And with the giant size of your controllable character, I'm not totally surprised by that. Now, if you're playing this on an emulator or an accelerated Apple II, then you can address that rather quickly. Bottom line, it's a repetitive arcade-style action game from 1981, featuring a Jedi Santa. No more, no less. And it does have its charming moments, like when Santa kills Pac-Man with an umbrella. I mean, how many games feature something like that? But unless you're an Apple II fan that's crazy about Christmas, I'm not sure I can recommend this. If you do try it out, let me know your high score. I managed to get 20,000 points just seeing if anything would happen, which it didn't. Now, if Santa's sleigh ride leaves you hungry for more Christmas-themed Apple II games, fear not. Last year, I reviewed another such game called Ho Ho Ho, written by renowned programmer David Schroeder. That was a lot of fun, and it had a lot of variety. Definitely check it out if you haven't played it, and also check out my review of it. As for Santa's sleigh ride, well, it's a rare, obscure, Christmas-themed Apple II game that came in a Ziploc bag, and I own it, and that makes me happy. Thanks for watching.